Hi, you guys, and this is Prophetess Ophelia Sabrina Acapo, and wanted to give you a prophetic word that the Lord has spoken to my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is for you. And I'm going to do a little something different today. Um before I actually start off with the word, and I'm going to start off with uh, prayer so I can bring this word forth, even with more of the anointing of the Lord and with more power and more representation of the Lord. So let me start off with the prayer. Father God, I come boldly to your throne of grace and bind you in, Holy Spirit, and joining my spirit in with the Holy Spirit, placing my hands in your hands and submitting my will back to your will, Holy Spirit, Asking you to intervene, let your will be done. Asking you, Father God, for full access, for full control over this word and to allow me to bring this word forth with your glory and with your power. Cover this word by the redemptive power of your blood. Let it be a reflection of your image and a reflection of your character. Let it bring new light, new liberty, new freedom for old things have passed away. Your words says, behold, I am doing a new thing and has spring forth now as pure gold. So let this word be edifying. Let this word be exalting. Let this word be encouraging, Father God. Let this word permeate and saturate and touch minds, bodies, and soul as never before. I take flesh out of the equation and I join my spirit in with the Holy Spirit. These blessings I am asking through your blood, through your will, and through the authority of your son, Jesus Christ's name, Yahshua. Hamashiach name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. So the title of this prophetic word is going to be look closer because in the midst of your storm is a rainbow. Look closer because in the midst of your storm is a rainbow. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is for you. And as I jump off into the word, I will as well provide you scriptures that are in relation to this prophetic word that I am giving on today. And let me jump off into it, you guys. And happy Sunday, by the way, you guys. Pray that you had a lovely one. Pray that you had a great weekend. I am. I had an actually great weekend. I am definitely full myself, but let me jump off into this word. So, you guys, I'm praising and worshiping. And I look up in the midst of my praise and worshiping, you guys. And I see a beautiful rainbow. I heard the Holy Spirit say, look closer. Look closer because in the midst of your storm, is a rainbow. I'm revealing to you the colors have not been distorted, but they are bright and that there is color and light. At the end of the tunnel. And. That your future is bright. Look deeper. Look deeper. And even a deeper intimacy. And revelation. With me. And keep believing. Because what is going on. Around you. Is not your final outcome nor destination. There is treasure for you. Color, beauty, new life, peace, freedom, and liberation for you. Look, because the objects in the mirror, Jesus, of your life are closer than they appear. Do not allow confusion. And my glasses are fogging up. But tap into optical illusion of that thing. The Lord is saying, go into those proverbial waters and swim deep because your rainbow is there. 
And it is yours. And it is irrevocable. Look again. And tap into what is underneath and never allow surface nor shore to lead you astray. Seek first his kingdom while going after what the Lord is revealing to you in the midst of your storm. He blesses you in it. There will be no testimony without a test. When I heard this, when I had this encounter, this morning, the Lord took me back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You guys know I love to share this because this is such an exciting story. It's such a anointed story. So when the Lord took me back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to remind me again that he is right there in the midst of your storm and that he never left you and he was there all alone. Genesis 9, 13 through 16, I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I, re re I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. Know that the Lord remembers you in the everlasting and everything covenant with you that he is your everything, your vivid colors of life are rising up and shining forth like a bright noonday. Isaiah 60 and 1, arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. His light revealed, glory revealed, and covenant revealed. The Lord wants you to know that you are protected covered by his blood, preserved, shielded, and kept. You have that covenant with him. Know that you have a everything covenant with him. Know that you have a blood covenant with him. Genesis 9, 11 through 13. I establish my covenant with you that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant that I will make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the cloud and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. A storm may come and you may even be in the midst of a storm, but the Lord is reminding you that the illuminating light is going to radiate through that. Through that, the very essence of color is going to be an exciting life change. That color palette of your life is very beautiful. It is very promising. And to look again, look again, swim again, breathe again, because his spirit is moving in. His spirit is moving. He will catch you. You will not drown in any flood. And to look again, because he has remembered you and blessed you right in the midst of your storm and turn your ashes into beauty in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 61 and 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them the beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That day, 
might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. I pray that this word has encouraged as well as edified your life on today of look closer because even in the midst of your storm is a rainbow, is an illuminating light, is a light that's going to shine bright. You are coming forth as pure gold. You are, your beauty has, your ashes has turned into beauty. There is a beautiful story. He just wants you to keep walking in his glory. And victory is yours for the taking. And welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. You are showing a sister much love and she appreciates it wholeheartedly. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. If you have not subscribed to this channel, press that subscribe button and come over to a family where you're going to get interaction you're going to get an encouraging enlightening exciting exhortating word on a daily basis you can also turn your test into a marvelous testimony right here on this channel in every message that you place i definitely and absolutely read it i definitely interact with you guys i definitely constantly keep you in prayer and I love each and every one of you guys. Once again, don't forget to hit that noti bell where you can be notified each time I upload a video. And until the next video, you guys, you guys take care and enjoy the rest of your evening. I will talk to you guys later. Once again, I love you guys dearly. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys. Talk to you soon. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.